All right, so the last thing we have to cover in the energy unit is power. Um, and all power is, is the time rate at which a force does work, right? So it's just basically work or energy over time, right? It's like the rate of expending uh, that energy or producing that energy, whatever, okay? Um, so a force does work W in a time T. So then basically all you're going to do is if you want just the average power, you're going to do the work divided by the time, okay? And you can find this work through various ways, right? Like force times distance, you know, or it might be the change in kinetic or gravitational potential energy, depending on what the question asks, okay? But basically, if it's a power question, the first thing you're going to want to do is find the work in some form, all right? Um, and then that's for average, okay? Um, if you want instantaneous, right, we have to look to calculus, and then we'd say power is the derivative of work uh, with respect to time, okay? Um, the unit is watts, okay, and one watt is a joule per second, okay, energy being in joules per second, okay? And then um, another way that people like to say energy or work is a kilowatt hour. You might have heard this, like, if you have an appliance or something, but basically a kilowatt hour is an energy term because it's a power times a time, okay? But we won't probably use that much in here, okay? Uh, the other thing, if you want to find instantaneous power, if they ask for that instead of average power, that's when um, you would take the derivative of work, okay, which is just uh, fx dx is work, Okay, and then basically what you're doing, if you can kind of see, if I switch this around, I can end up with this dx dt term, which is basically just the velocity instantaneously at that point. Okay, um, whoops, this cosine uh, angle term, right, just means that they have to be, force and v have to be in the same direction. Okay, just like, you know, work and all the other things. All right, that's why it's technically a dot product. Okay, um, so really you're going to use this force times velocity thing if it asks for instantaneous power. Okay, um, it seems a little bit confusing, but once you see the examples, I don't think it's so bad. <clears throat> All right, okay, and then quick checkpoint. This is the kind of stuff they like to ask sometimes. A block moves with uniform circular motion. Okay, so same speed uh, because a tor cord tied to the block is anchored at the center of a circle, right? So it's basically just something moving in a circle. Okay, what's the power? positive, negative, or zero, all right? So just like we did before, if that force is inward <clears throat> and that velocity or the displacement term, right, is going to be tangent, those are not the same direction, okay? So that means the work done is zero, therefore the power is zero, okay? So remember, anytime those are perpendicular, it's going to zero out, <clears throat> all right? Um, I just linked the um, reading here that's in the OpenStax book. If you want to read a little bit more about power, you can do that. And if you want to add any notes below, you can add them there. Okay.